Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial from BSN Tech Networks. I'm going to show you how to take apart a Gateway MT3422 laptop. I searched on the internet to find any kind of tutorial or even a file that explained how to do this, but I was not successful. This is the second time that I'm having to take apart this laptop as I received a defective motherboard but uh, this video will go ahead and describe how to take apart the laptop and get down to the motherboard. Now the first things first, you always should make sure to take the battery out um, and you will need a couple of screwdrivers. These are very small screwdrivers. One is with the Phillips head and the other one is just the standard straight one. Um, these are small precision screwdrivers that you will need. So you'll just simply make sure to close the laptop flip it over and then first take out the battery. There is a lock over here on this side. Make sure that it's in the unlocked position. It's kind of hard to see. And then over here there's another button so you'll push it over and then pull the battery out. So that is the battery. Next is the memory and the wireless card that you need to take out. The memory is located under this cover right here. You can see a little screw and then the wireless card is up here. There's a screw up here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take those out and then take the actual wireless card out as well. Okay, I have the covers taken off now and I have taken the memory out so there's now no more memory in here. To take the memory out there are tabs over here on either side. There's one and there's two. So you have to push these out at the same time and then it will cause the memory to pop up and then you can pull the memory out. It's the same way with the wireless card. Make sure you make note of the wireless card wires up here. The, there's a black wire that's closest to this silver thing and then there's a gray wire. You can easily just pop these out by pulling them out and then again the same thing. There are little clips over here. You'll just push those to the side and then the card will come up. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, the memory card is now out. Now it's time to take every single screw off of the back of the laptop. There's a couple that I want to point out to you though. First, up here, there is a screw here and a screw there. Those are to take out the hard drive. Now these screws are very small, so you need to make sure to set these aside or label them as hard drive screws so you know where they go. Then over here, there is another screw right in here. This is a long silver screw and this is what holds in the CD-ROM and the DVD drive. So again, this one's going to also look different than the other ones you take out. It's a silver screw and it's much longer than the other ones. Next, there are two screws here. There is one right here. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. And then there is another one right over here. These are indicated or they're found underneath the battery. Next, there is another screw over here on the back side. And then there is also another one over here. These are very, very short screws as well. So there should be a total of four short screws that you'll take off the back. So make sure to set those aside and make sure you remember where you got those from. Otherwise, there's screws all around the perimeter here that you need to take out. There's also one here in the middle. There's, like I said, the CD-ROM drive screw and then a couple over here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of those out at this time. All right, I have taken all of the screws out now. I did want to point out that I found one other small screw right over here by the CD-ROM drive. So it's not the same hole as the CD-ROM drive, which is right here, but it's right next to it over here. So now the next thing is to take out the hard drive. The hard drive has a little tab here, and you can just simply pull out on it, and it should come out. It takes a little bit of, a little bit of force, but it will come out. Kind of hard to do with only one hand here holding the camera. And it's the same way with the CD-ROM drive over here. Typically you can just try to get your fingers under it and then it'll pull right out as well. See if I can get the hard drive out here again. Okay, I'm going to probably have to set the camera down and do that. Okay, got the hard drive out. Just had to take me getting the camera on the table. And so I had two hands to get it around. So now all of the peripherals on the back are now all taken out. So you can Okay, so all the peripherals are taken out and I have it displayed here so you can see it. 
So the hard drive is out. And there's a couple more screws under the hard drive here. There is two of them that need to be removed. So you can barely see them. There's a little bit of a line there. So you'll take those and make sure to remove those as well. So you can now flip your laptop over and open it up. Everything still looks pretty much the same here. Now the next thing you want to do is take out this top bezel up here. Now you'll use a small flathead screwdriver, such as this one here, and then you'll just go along the top and you'll have to start prying up. Now it, it's very, very careful and, and make sure that you take your time doing this. Um, I'm going to have to use both hands to do it, but um, you'll just go along here and there's some tabs that will come up when you pull this up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have this part up now. You can see that it's nice and loose. So you need to actually make sure you're very careful that you have to push your laptop display all the way back like so. And then you should be able just to pull this right out like that. So same thing over here. There is a tab in the back, back here, that kind of holds this one in a little more. So you may have to take a little bit of time to open this back up and pull it loose. Let me see if I can and do there that. it goes. So then you pull this off. It's just a piece of plastic, nothing much to it. And then you'll see all of the guts and pieces in under there. Now the next part will be to either take out the keyboard, which you just simply lift up, and you can see underneath there is a ribbon cable here. There are two black little tabs on either side, and you have to push them up. And then you can pull the little ribbon right out. And there is the keyboard. So we're getting pretty close now. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take off the whole display here. There are a couple of screws under here that you need to take out. So there's a silver screw and there's a black screw. The silver screw is the one down here that's holding this ribbon in. And then the same on this side as well. There is a silver screw that's holding this ribbon in, and then there is a black screw. So I'm going to take that out. So, But first, before I do that, you can see that there is a connector here. This is what connects the display into your laptop motherboard. So I'm going to carefully pull this out and disconnect it from the motherboard and now it's loose. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the display off now. Okay, so I have those four screws taken out. One thing that I would definitely recommend is to make sure that you have two different containers to keep your screws in. So here's the container that I'm keeping all the screws that came out of the back of the laptop, and these are gonna be the screws that I'm going to keep that are going to be for taking off the internal pieces of the laptop. So that way you know where goes what when you're done. Next, there's going to be these two wires again, a black and a gray wire. They are underneath a clip here, so before you pull the laptop away, make sure you pull these out and get them loose. So I just took, simply took this screwdriver and then pulled them out a little bit. Now you should be able to take your entire display and pull it up. All right, so there's the display. So now we have just the laptop. There's a couple of screws here to take this piece off right here. Here's one over here. There's another one right there. There's one right here. And let me see, is there any other ones? That is it. So there is, oh, there's one over here too. So there's one. Here's two. There's three. And then there's four. Once I take this out, then it will allow me to take this top bezel off and then get to the motherboard. So I'm going to take that apart right now. Okay, those four screws are now out. There's also a screw up here in this upper corner. And then there's also another screw up here in this corner. So you'll need to take those out. Now, one other thing I want to let you know about is on the side over here, there should be a little memory slot. I can't really show it to you very well here, but there's a little memory slot here that has a fake or a blank card in it. Make sure you also take that out 
before we take the motherboard out. So you can go ahead and do that now when you're also taking out those two top screws. Almost there. Now after you take the screws out and you take the SD card slot, the blank out from over here, you should just be able to easily pull this right up. All right, so it comes up just like that. Now you want to make sure you pull these black and white wires out here. These are actually for your wireless card, so make sure you pull those out first. Just like that, and then you can just take this entire thing. Oh, we also also have to remove this pad here. Didn't do that, but there's a little ribbon right here. Same thing, there's two black tabs. Make sure you open the black tabs up and then you can pull the ribbon right out and there it goes. Now we can pull it straight up. So now we're left with the motherboard. So here you can see the motherboard. There is a speaker over here and there is a speaker over here. You can pull those out. There is a little wire. So let's pull that out and there goes the speaker. And same with this one. There is a little wire here. Pull it out and there goes that speaker. So the speakers are now out. Next will be to actually pull the motherboard up. There is a couple screws on the motherboard, of course, that you need to take out as well. There's one right up here. It's in the left-hand side, just above, just below where the display connector is. So there's one there. There is another one right here. There's one down here in this corner. And then there is also another one up here. So I'm going to take those out and be right back. Those four screws have now been taken off the motherboard, so it is somewhat easy to move over on this side, but not quite over here. The power connector is over here. So if you lift it up, you will see that there is a tiny screw right there. It's a silver screw, so make sure you remember that. This is a silver screw. And then there is another one right in there. Hard to see, but it's right where my fingertip is. So those two need to be taken out next. I'm going to do that now. Those screws have now been taken up. Now, just to be uh, alerting you here, where this screw was, this is a smaller screw. This one back in here is a larger screw. It's a little longer. So when you put the silver screws back in over here, the longer one goes back here, and the shorter one goes there. You probably noticed that when you took it out. So now at this point, you can actually just take out the entire motherboard. You may have to move the actual plastics around a little bit to get it out, since you do have your VGA port over here. And then it should just pop right out. And there it goes. So there's your motherboard, and there's all your pieces to it. Your processor is under here. So there are some screws in here. There's one, two, three, and four that will take off this whole fan assembly. And then, of course, make sure you take out your fan connector here. There are other connectors over here. There is a battery. And then there also is your power piece right here. These are accessories and typically do not come with the motherboard. So you'll have to take this accessory off, your battery, and then, of course, your whole fan assembly and processor. Well, that's how you take apart the Gateway MT3422 laptop. Um, certainly watch the video back. Well, you can't watch it backwards, but you may need to watch it a couple more times in order to put everything back together. Well, thanks again for watching. This is Brian with BSN Tech Networks.